Welcome back to Seattle Week. Now, Seattle is a foodie destination known around the world. Yes, it is. Now, if you want to check out some of the hot spots, the places where the locals hang out, we have got the tour for you. It's called the Booze and Bites Tour, and it could seriously be one of the best tours ever. <laughs> <laughs> It's happy hour in Seattle. Here to show us some of the local hotspots, Angela Shen, founder and CEO of Savor Seattle Food Tours. Hi, Angela. Hi, thanks for having me. Okay, I'm so excited because I hear we're going on a booze and bites food tour. Well, it's mostly just booze and a little bit of bites. Awesome. <laughs> Even better. So what better way to explore a city than through the vantage point of your stomach and a glass? Love it. Tell us about your company. So I started the business 11 years ago as a transplant here to Seattle. My father's a chef, and I've always appreciated the power that food has to bring people together. So I thought, why not create a business that shows off Seattle's best food and bar scene? Brilliant. And you've got such a great location near... Pike Place Market. Oh my gosh, having this as our backdrop is an occupational hazard <laughs> most days. Mm -hmm. All right, well, enough talking. I'm ready to start the tour. How about you? <laughs> Let's ready go. For, okay. Ready for the booze and bites. <laughs> Okay, Angela, you know it's not raining. What's up with the pink umbrella? Well, it's kind of tongue in cheek, but if you see pink umbrellas totaling around town, followed by a small group of happy eaters, <laughs> that's a sign, because these are our um, iconic pink umbrellas for our city tours. Terrific. Lead the way. This is one of our stops on our Booze and Bites tour, Rachel's Ginger Beer. Ah, what is Ginger Beer? So that is raw pressed ginger soda, all natural from scratch. Here on the tour, we start with a Montana mule, which is ginger beer with a little bit of whiskey added in. Just a skosh. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> On to yeah. the next stop. Okay. This is another favorite spot on our Booze and Bites tour, Cantina de San Patricio. They're known for their carne asada tacos, and we pair that with and blood orange margarita. Ooh, it's, I love the outdoor space too. This is great. It's great in a summer day. Do some people watching here in Pike Place. I love <laughs> it. How many stops do you make on the two hour tour? We go to five different places. Five. Two hours. <laughs> How do you fit that all in? Well, they know what we're coming, so when you arrive, you're just ready to get down to business and you sip and savor. I'm ready to sip and eat. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> Brown liquor bar, and today we're gonna try the Diller Daiquiri. Ooh, what's in that? Oh, so it's got white rum, fresh lime juice, and cinnamon infused simple syrup. Uh -huh. Sounds delicious. Yes. Let's do it. Ah, oh, here it is. Ooh. Cheers. No mm. Oh, very good. Who's very hungry? Good. Oh, me. <laughs> we're always hungry. This looks and smells great. What is this? Mushroom muffalettas. Mushroom muffalettas. <laughs> what is a muffaletta? So we've got sauteed mushrooms, uh, olive tepanade, pickled onion, smooth mozzarella on a warm brioche bun. Oh, that sounds good. Let's dig in. I will say the dinner daiquiri is awesome. <laughs> This looks good. Okay, before I put this in my mouth, I want to know about this place. It's got kind of a vintage vibe. It's great that you noticed that because, in fact, this place used to be a speakeasy during Prohibition. Really? Oh, my goodness. A very historic place. In 1889, we had a great fire here in Seattle, and the very next year, this building was one of the very first to get rebuilt. Very historic indeed. Of course, Cheers. the bar was the first to get built. That's <laughs> awesome. Of course. <laughs> But we had the best day ever. Thank you so yeah. much. The food, the drinks, everything delicious. Um, if people want to do this tour, how can they get in touch with you? Sure. Check out our website, www.saverseattletours.com. All right. One more time. Cheers. 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 
that was a lot of fun. <laughs> yes, I, I came back home and I'm like, okay, the next time we go to Seattle, we have to do this tour again. Um, it was so great, you know, yeah. and it's fun to have a local taking you around to all of the hot spots. Yeah, learn a little history, get a little bit of uh, something to eat, and of course, something to drink at a number of different places. I How know. can you go wrong? And you're walking, so, yeah. you know, no one's driving. No, no. It's all good. <laughs> all right, if you want to go to Seattle and check out the Booze and Bites tour or the Hot Stove Society, mm -hmm. like we did, you can do what we did and hop on an Alaska Airlines flight. Yeah, they offer daily nonstop service to Seattle from Lehue, Honolulu, Kahului, and Kona, with the most nonstop flights from Hawaii to the most destinations on the West Coast. Alaska Airlines provides power outlets at every seat, free in flight movies, fresh meal options, and you got to check out their famous companion fare offer with the Alaska Airlines Visa Signature Card. That's right. To learn why so many people love Alaska Airlines and to start planning your next trip, visit alaskaair.com. And to help us celebrate Seattle Week or the closing of Seattle Week here on Living 808, Alaska Airlines wants to fly one lucky viewer and a friend to Emerald City or anywhere else they fly. It's the Alaska Airlines Great Escape Giveaway. Yeah, and it's easy to enter, folks. Just go to KHON2.com, look for the contest page, and fill out the entry form. You're going to be entered into our random drawing to win round trip tickets for two to anywhere Alaska Airlines flies. The deadline, though, is today, so be sure to head on over to KHON2.com right after the show. Yes, wait till after the show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, after the break, we're going to wrap things up and tell you what we have in store for you on Monday.